has to do with our past, but in this particular case, the most remarkable information we learned about him, we learned today, which is that this is a man who suffered from hallucinations, auditory hallucinations. He heard the voices. There's this report in the New York Times that he was in Rhode Island, and he called the police in a motel, and he said that some strange people were following him and sending the vibrations through his body, which prevented him from sleeping. This is the classic symptom of a paranoid schizophrenic. I have treated some of these people. This is not a reflection of our society. This is a kind of sickness that in rare, rare cases leads to the, the violence that we saw. And to say there's a sickness in our society, as we heard earlier in the segment, I think is nonsense in relation with this. The one problem that we have, 50 years ago, if the cops arrived on the scene and you told them all that, they would have taken you to the emergency room, and as a psychiatrist, I would have been on duty, and I would have committed him for two weeks of treatment, because that person clearly was having a psychotic episode. But today, because of this idea of civil liberties, which I respect, we don't do that anymore, and we have people at large who can be dangerous. But also, he was able to get clearance to go on the naval base, even though he had a long history of violence with gun incidents, and, you know, people are saying, listen, if you can't check out all your personnel in a military area, which is sensitive, then we just have chaos. But, Bill, the gun incidents did not end up being reported or being charged. The one in Seattle, apparently, the prosecutor lost the paperwork. And there was another incident where he wasn't charged. So, and listen, there's a guy who bought the shot gum legally in a legal place in Virginia. Clearly they'd run a background check on him. And because the incidents were not reported, I presume that's why he cleared yeah, the background check. He didn't have any check. felony on his rap sheet. Um, but there were warning signs, just as there were with the guy in Fort Hood. Exactly. Let, there was. Let's get back to And though. warning signs with Jared Loeffner in Tucson. But with Jared Loeffner, sure. and, and he, the couldn't, guy, and he the, couldn't put him in in, in, in a committed situation where he'd be controlled until he killed. And until that's he the does. And the same thing with the guy in Columbine. But now right. we have, you know, slimy little uh, weasels in Moscow tweeting, oh, American exceptionalism. Believe me when I tell you, this is going all over the world now because perception is reality. And the reality is we're a violent society, out of control society, and we have absolutely no right to tell anyone else what to do. And that's going to harm the no, USA. No, I disagree. I don't think that this is the cause of the disrespect other people have for the U.S. Look, th this is the 10th, the 20th, and a long list of incidents, and you didn't get tweets out of Moscow after Newtown. What you see now for the disrespect in the U.S. is the way Obama has been shoved around, the way he's been played, the way he's been indecisive, zigzagged on Syria, the way he draws a red line, ignores it, that's the source of the disrespect, and everybody in the world senses that the U.S. is weak, indecisive, with no leadership, and that's the reason it's open season. The incident yesterday provides, you know, a subject matter, but that's not the cause of the disrespect. It's the weakness at the top and indecision, and that's why everybody imagines that you can be as disrespectful to America as Putin is and yeah, and that's going to lead to very, very big problems for America down the road. Absolutely. Ab Obama Charles and I are it's... on the same page on that. Obama dismisses it as an absence of style points. He doesn't understand that the leadership of the United States, the weakness and indecision he's betrayed, hugely harms the U.S. in the many ways, and we're including losing moral in these authority. relatively trivial You are losing like the Catholic Church lost moral authority. America's losing moral authority as well. We're going to hold over, Charles, for another segment on Obamacare because it kicks in in two weeks. Will anything be done about it? And then later. <laughs>